Bonzo Top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch them as they play. Adventures of Bottle Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle Top Bill. We're going to Mrs. Whistlehead's farm today, Bill. That's right, Corky. We're looking after the sheep. When we do that, we always have an adventure. And this adventure is called A Lamb Full of Trouble. We'll have an easy day today, Bill. You said it, Corky. Because there's no great wild woolly to play tricks on us. We got this letter from him yesterday. The Great Wild Wooly is on holiday. Today will be a breeze. All we have to do is keep the sheep away from the vegetable patch. That's no problem. The sheep are over there. And the vegetables are that way. Those vegetables are as safe as safe could be with us guarding them. No sheep could possibly get in there. So we can sit back and take it easy. <sighs> What was that? <laughs> up there, Bill. <laughs> it's a lamb. A lamb up a tree? <laughs> That's impossible. Then why can I see it? How does a lamb get up a tree? I don't know, Bill, but we have to get her down. Don't be scared. We'll help you. Come on, down you come. <laughs> you go back to the other sheep. And stay with them. Now, where were we? Sitting back and taking it easy. Then let's get to it. <laughs> that sounds like the lamb again. It is, Corky. Over there. <laughs> How did she get up there? A lamb on top of a shed? That's impossible too. Don't move, lamb. We'll get you down. We'll need to use the ladder this time. No trouble, Corky. I'm getting the hang of rescuing lambs. <laughs> it's all right, Lammy. I'm on my way. Careful, Bill. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you down again. <laughs> well done, Bill. Now you stay with the other sheep. Understand? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I still can't see how that lamb climbed up there. Let's find out, Corky. What's your plan, Bill? How about we hide behind that tractor? And watch the lamb from there? That's it, Corky. We'll keep nice and low so no one can see us. I'm with you, Bill. See anything, Corky? Not much yet. Hold everything. She's on the move. She's coming this way. Now where's she going? To Mrs Whistlehead's house, Corky. What will she do there? Paint me pink. She's climbing. Look at her go, Bill. Here's your trouble, Corky. The lamb loves to climb. But she doesn't know how to get down. <laughs> Just be still and we'll get you down again. The ladder isn't high enough, Corky. We'll need a machine. And I've got just the one. Our crane. Good thinking, Bill. This'll be our third lamb rescue. That's a lamb rescue record. Take me up, Bill. Up it is, Corky. <laughs> I'll get you. Don't you worry. That's the way. Down you come. <laughs> this really has to stop. You're too young and small to be climbing things. When you're bigger, we'll take you to the snowy mountains. You can climb all you like there. They're so high, you can see the whole world. <laughs> but for now... No more climbing. Do you hear us? Bah. Little lamb, the sheep are that way. 
Where's she going now? She's heading for our flying balloon. Why would she do that? I don't think she's trying to go to the snowy mountains, Bill. Stop, Lamb! Come back. Too late. We'll have to follow her, Corky. What should we use, Bill? I think the helicopter's the thing. Sounds good to me. Follow that lamb. There's no doubt about it. She's heading for the snowy mountains. I can see them ahead, Corky. And we gave her the idea of going there. We shouldn't have said anything about them. <laughs> Little lamb, the snowy mountains are too dangerous to climb. I hope the rest of Mrs Whistlehead's sheep stay out of that vegetable patch. Or we'll be in big trouble. We'd better hurry and catch this lamb. Full speed ahead, Corky. The balloon, Bill. I see it, Corky. Lamb, are you there? She isn't here. We'll have to search for her. Lamb, lamb. Lamb, lamb. The snowy mountains are too big for just us to look. We need help. And we know two friends who live in the snowy mountains. They'll help us for sure, Bill. The snow monsters, Flip and Chip. They know everything about the snowy mountains. Flip. Chip. Good morning, Bill and Corky. Are you looking for a lost lamb? We are. How did you know? We saw it going up the other side of the valley. Where does that lead? To the highest snowy mountain of all, Mount Sky High. Oh no, I bet she's going to try and climb it. You better take us there, and fast. Mount Sky High. The snowy mountain that almost touches the clouds. It's very hard to climb, even hard for us. Surely the lamb wouldn't try and climb that. She's not that silly. <gasps> I'm sorry to say that she is. Oh, no! Lamb! Lamb! Don't go any higher! It's very dangerous! Oh, she's too high to hear us! Corky, we need a plan. What if Flip and Chip climb up after her? A capital suggestion! And you and I take the balloon up, Bill. So between us, we'll rescue the lamb. Top plan, Corky. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Oh, Lamb! Do please stop! <laughs> she wants nothing more than to get to the top! I can see her now, Bill! We know what's going to happen, Corky. She'll get to the top, then realise just how high she is. Look at that rock, Corky! To get to the top, the Lamb will have to climb over it! She'll never do it. <laughs> she did do it. That lamb is something else, Corky. She's almost as good a climber as we are, Flip. <laughs> She's at the top. Here it comes, Corky. Just like we thought. She doesn't know how to climb down. It's all right, Bill. Flip and Chip are with her. Oh, that was quite a climb. Now, let's help that lamb. Don't fret, little one. We'll look after you. Flip, Chip, do you need any help? We can handle it from here. <laughs> I think we're in trouble, Chip. I think you're right, Flip. <laughs> I have you. And I have you, Bill. I'll pull you in on three. One, two, three. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what are we to do? Parachute, Corky. Parachute it is, Bill. Will you be all right? No problems at all, Corky. I'm coming! Good luck, Bill! <laughs> I've got you! 
Almost. Got you this time. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that was terrific, Phil. Good show. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> hey, that tickles. should be at Mrs Whistlehead's farm any moment, Bill. I love the snowy mountains, but it'll be nice to get back. <laughs> Here we are, safe and sound. But Corky, what are we going to do about this little climbing lamb? I've been thinking about that, Bill. We'll build a special climbing wall for the lamb and a slide on the side so she knows how to get down. Brilliant, Corky. It's everything a climbing lamb could wish for. It's all yours, little lamb. Have a go. <laughs> She's amazing, Bill. <laughs> She's down. No trouble at all. That will keep her happy and safe. Our lamb full of trouble is over, Corky. I don't know about that, Bill. Oh, no. I don't believe it. The sheep did get into the vegetable patch. Well, Bill, we don't have to worry about a lamb full of trouble anymore. We don't? Now we've got a whole flock full of trouble. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Here we are at Mrs Whistlehead's farm, Bill. Do you know why she wants to see us? No, but I do know we're having an adventure and it's called Sheep Trouble. Mrs Whistlehead! Hello! Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. Thanks for coming. No worries, Mrs Whistlehead. What's up? The gate is broken and I don't want my sheep to escape. Can you mend it? Of course we can. Can't we, Bill? No problem, Mrs Whistlehead. All we need is some wood. Some nails? And a hammer. We'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Thanks, Bill and Corky. I knew I could count on you. We'll get started right away. There's lemonade and muffins by the front door when you're finished. Thanks, Mrs Whistlehead. I'm off to the shops. Bye now. Bye, Mrs Whistlehead. Right, Corky. Let's get fixing. Hmm. I think we need one more piece for luck. What do you think, Corky? Definitely, Bill. That should do it. A job well done. Mending gates is thirsty work, Corky. Lemonade and muffins coming right up. Paint me pink, Corky. Somebody has been here before us. They've eaten everything. And it looks like they left in a hurry. Hold on, Bill. Look. Crumbs. A trail of crumbs. We should follow them, Corky. I wonder where they're leading. To Mrs Whistlehead's shed. Whoever ate our cakes must be inside. Do you think so? I'm sure of it. What do you think, Corky? I think you were right, Bill. The naughty cake thief is inside. Then let's see who it is. Who's in there, Bill? It looks like someone we know, Corky. Someone we know very well. The, the Great, Great Wild, Wild Woolly. <laughs> Come on out, Great Wild Woolly. Why did you eat our cake, you naughty sheep? Have you nothing to say? <coughs> Pardon? <coughs> He's got hiccups. I bet that's because he ate too quickly. <coughs> he doesn't look too well, Corky. Hello! I know that voice, Bill. And I know those legs, Corky. And that body. And that head. Hello, Hello neighbour Ned. Ned. Hi, Bill and Corky. What's the problem? <coughs> That's the problem, Ned. The great wild woolly has hiccups. Can you help him? Not a problem. I've got just the thing. What's he doing, Bill? I'm not sure, Corky. But it's a funny way to cure hiccups. <coughs> Watch! Ned? A short, sharp shock always does the trick with hiccups. I think you might be right. He stopped. Well done, Ned. <coughs> oh, no. 
We spoke too soon. <laughs> now what? <laughs> the sheep have hiccups too. It's catching. Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. Don't worry, Ned. You tried your best. But now we've got a bigger problem. It's time for action, Corky. What's this, Phil? It's our roadster. Do we need to get somewhere fast? You've got it. Ned, can you look after the sheep and the great wild woolly? You can rely on me, Bill. Good. We'll be back as soon as we can. Bye. <laughs> Where are we going, Bill? You should know this place, Corky. It looks like a laboratory. That's because it is. It's Cedric the Scientist. Spot on, Corky. But, Bill... Cedric's not a doctor. He's an inventor. Exactly. He'll have an invention to cure the great wire woolly and Mrs Whistlehead's sheep of their hiccups. Do you really think Cedric can help? Of course. Just look at all the equipment he's got. He can solve any problem. I hope you're right, Bill. Cedric! Bill! Corky! How oh, nice to see you. Are you all right, Cedric? Fine, thank you. Just a slight problem cooking my lunch. Now, what can I do for you? We were wondering if you could help us, Cedric. I'll try my best. The Great Wild Woolly and all Mrs Whistlehead's sheep have the hiccups. Do you have anything that might cure them? Hmm. It might just do the job. What might, Cedric? Take a look at this. It's, uh, very nice, Cedric. I'm just not quite sure what it is. It looks sort of like a sheep. It is a sheep, Corky. But, Cedric, we've got enough sheep. But this is a special sheep. Wow! It's a robot sheep. Quite right, Corky. Just take him home and turn the key. Really? Trust me, Corky. He'll get those hiccups cured in no time. Thank you, Cedric. No problem, Bill. Goodbye and good luck. I knew Cedric would have the answer, Corky. But, Bill, I've never seen a robot sheep cure hiccups before. Me neither. But there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Here we are, Ned. The very latest hiccup cure. <laughs> I don't think the great wild woolly likes it, Bill. Don't worry, Ned. He will once he sees what it does. What does it do? Uh, we're not too sure. But we'll soon find out. All we have to do is turn the key. <laughs> there it goes, Corky. It'll have those sheep sorted in no time. <laughs> wow! It's very clever. Maybe too clever. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen, is it, Corky? I don't think so, Bill. <laughs> and nor does the great wild woolly. <laughs> Come on! We have to get those sheep back, Bill. Or Mrs Whistlehead will blow her top. <laughs> Where are they heading, Corky? Towards the river. Good, that should stop them. Not really, because they've found the bridge to take them across to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Bill! They're getting away! Now what? He's found a track! A railway track! <laughs> oh no! There's a train coming! And it's heading straight for the sheep! <laughs> I can't look, Bill. <laughs> Where are they now? I don't know, Bill. They must be around here somewhere. I think they've gone down the old cattle road. <laughs> You're right, Ned. They have taken the old road. Then let's get after them. Where does this road go, Bill? I don't know, Ned, but I hope it's nowhere dangerous. 
I'm afraid it is dangerous, Phil. It leads to the big cliff that looks over the valley. How can we tell the robot sheep about the danger? We can't. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Hang on. The great wild woolly's got an idea. What is it? A kite. Go, great wild woolly! <laughs> Will he make it in time? I hope so, Bill. <laughs> Fantastic! Well done, Great Wild Wooly! <laughs> but Cedric's robot is still going. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How lucky are you, Mr. Robot? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Great Wild Wooly. robot has run out of power at last, Bill. Thank goodness. And all the sheep are safe and sound. Thanks to the great wild woolly. <laughs> Hang on. Can you hear something? No, Bill. I can't hear anything. Exactly. Cedric sent us the robot to cure the great wild woolly and Mrs Whistlehead's sheep of hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just what it's done. I always knew Cedric was a clever scientist. Me too, Bill. But I think his sheep robot could do with a few changes. <laughs> right, Corky. Now let's get these sheep back to Mrs Whistlehead's farm. Good idea. Here we are, back where we started, Corky. And here's Mrs Whistlehead. Bill, Corky, what a wonderful job you've made of my gate. Thanks, Mrs Whistlehead. And it looks like you've had help. We couldn't have done it without our friends, Mrs Whistlehead. Then it's lucky I've been to the shops. I've enough refreshments for everyone. I can't wait for Mrs Whistlehead's lemonade and muffins, Corky. Me too, Bill. It's been a long, hard morning. Good. Then tuck in, everyone. <coughs> but don't drink too quickly. I think we have, Bill. <coughs> What you need is my special hiccup cure. I'll make it straight away. No, stop, Mrs Whistlehead. We'll be fine. You will? Thanks, Mrs Whistlehead. But we've had enough hiccup cures for one day. Are you sure? When Corky's right, Mrs Whistlehead, she's right. Let's get a move on, Corky. Cedric the scientist wants us at his laboratory right away, Bill. His spaceship is ready for liftoff. Spaceship? This sounds like an adventure, Bill. Right you are, Corky. An adventure called A Sheep in Space. Let's go and find Cedric. But Corky, should we leave the car here? That tricky great wild woolly has been hanging around. And you know what that means. It means he's looking to get up to some mischief. So we better keep a lookout for him. I'll hide the keys, Bill. That'll keep the car safe. Right as always, Corky. So he can tell us what his plan is. And why he needs us. And why we need the spaceship. Hello, Cedric. We're here. You are indeed. And it's so good you are. We're ready for whatever you want us to do. What do you want us to do? There's trouble on Tamo's planet. Our space friend, Tamo. If he has trouble, we're helping. Everyone on his planet is getting very bad colds. They need medicine. And you want us to take it to him? That's it indeed. What do you say to a trip into outer space? I'd say sensational. Make that two sensationals. I knew you wouldn't let me down. We're ready to go, Cedric. 
first, you'll need to put on spacesuits. Hand them over, Cedric. And let's get cracking. The medicine is on the spaceship. So we're all ready to go. Paint me pink. What's happening, Cedric? Someone <laughs> is taking the spaceship. But who? Who? The Great Wild Wooly. That's who? <laughs> what is that naughty sheep up to? Oh, my. All the medicine is on that spaceship. I have no more. Can you bring the rocket back, Cedric? No. There's only one thing we can do. Just name it. You must take the backup rocket. Will it be fast enough to catch up to the great wild woolly? I hope so. But you'll have to fly it well. Let's go, Bill. Go it is, Corky. It do. Please be careful. Why would the great wild woolly take the spaceship? I don't know, Corky. But I do know he's gone too far this time. Let's get to the controls and catch up to him, Bill. Ready for liftoff, Corky? Starting engines now, Bill. <laughs> good luck! Oh, this is not a good place to be standing. No, indeed. No! We have liftoff! <laughs> Space, Corky. It's always so exciting. And so beautiful too, Bill. You said it. But we can't waste too much time looking. We have to catch up to the great wild woolly. Let's hope he knows how to control that spaceship. If he doesn't, Bill, he'll be in danger. And if he's in danger, that medicine will be too. <laughs> We're catching up, Corky. I can see him just ahead. And I see the moon, too. Is that why he took the spaceship? To go to the moon? It has to be, Bill. Any other time, that would be great. But not while he's got that medicine that Tamo needs. Bill and Corky to the Great Wild Woolly. Come in, Great Wild Woolly. <laughs> you have to stop your spaceship right now. You have some very important medicine on board. Our friend Tamo needs it so he and his family will get well. Please stop your spaceship, Great Wild Woolly. If you want to go to the moon, we'll take you there another time. Just not right now. <laughs> He's doing it, Bill. He's slowing down. Does he know how to stop it? <laughs> now we know, Bill. He can't stop it. Full speed ahead, Bill. Full speed it is. He's going right by the moon, Bill. And so are we. To rescue that medicine, we have to rescue the great wild woolly too. He does make me hopping mad, Corky. Hey, to Bill and Corky. Come in, Bill and Corky. It's Tamo. This is Bill and Corky, Tamo. Bill? Corky? Where are you? We're waiting for that medicine. We have a problem, Tamo. A great wild woolly problem. We'll get that medicine to you as fast as we can. We've lost Tamo. And we're also in for a bumpy ride. It's space rocks, Corky. Can we go around them, Bill? It's too late, Corky. The great wild woolly is going in. <laughs> and we're going in too. Nice flying, Corky. Thanks, Bill. There he is. We've got the great wild woolly now. Make that the other way around, Bill. He's got us. We're stuck together. And I've lost control. <laughs> Corky, do you see that small planet? I see it, Bill. 
Could we slide in for a landing? We might just have enough power to do it, Bill. Top landing, Corky. Thanks, Bill, but I don't want to try that ever again. Let's hope the Great Wild Woolly's all right. <laughs> he's a little dizzy, but I think he's fine. We're all okay. You beauty. What about the medicine? <laughs> the medicine's all there, Corky. Good work, Great Wild Woolly. <laughs> What's he trying to say, Corky? I think he's sorry, Bill. He didn't mean to take the medicine. <laughs> we forgive you, but right now we have to get this medicine to Tamo. And we've got a big problem, Bill. I know, Corky. We're going nowhere. Look at the state of these spaceships. They need to be repaired. And we don't have anything here to repair them. And nobody knows where we are. This is no outer space picnic, Corky. <laughs> Look at that, Bill! What is he trying to do? <laughs> Could he be making a sign? Spot on, Corky. He's making a big sign so someone will see it and know we're here. Let's help him, Bill. You've got it. We have to make this sign as big as we can. If someone passes by, they won't be able to miss it. And hopefully they'll come and rescue us. Let's hope that someone will be coming by soon. Now we wait. Not for too long, Corky. Up there. <laughs> Someone's seen our sign. They're coming to rescue us, Corky. <laughs> Over here. Here, here, we here we are. are. Who could it be? Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. It's Tamo. And hello, Great Wild Wooly. <laughs> you saw our sign, Tamo? I did. I got worried when you were late, so I came out to find you. Now that's using your head, Tamo. You're a champion. Look, Tamo, we've got the medicine. That's wonderful. We really need it. Then let's get it to your planet. We'll come back later with the things we need to repair the spaceships. Good thinking, Corky. What's that, Great Wild Woolly? <laughs> what does he want now, Corky? I think he's asking if this planet has a name. <laughs> it's only a very small planet. I don't think it has a name at all. <laughs> now what's he doing? <laughs> This planet has a name now. The planet of the Great Wild Woolly. A camera? <laughs> All right, one photo, and then we must get going. Come on, everyone. Let's get that medicine back home. What a sight, Bill! The planet of the Great Wild Woolly. No matter where we go, Bill. From Mrs Whistlehead's farm to outer space. The Great Wild Woolly will always be the same. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. But to 